Dear Podrick, I'm writing to you on my 19th birthday, sitting in a trench far from home. I suppose you are wondering why I haven't written in so long. It's difficult to get a letter out and be on active service at the same time. I can't say that I'm enjoying myself out here. Fire! I spend my time on rotation through the trenches, moving up to the front line every 15 days. When we are out supposed to be resting, we have to go on working parties, digging and so on. Then, wherever we are, we are always under shell fire. So there's not much rest after all. The last shell we had in camp, there were four killed and 17 wounded. Death is all around us. Our food consists of half a loaf of bread per day, bacon and tea for breakfast, buddy beef and biscuits for dinner, and jam for tea. Lime juice is served out about four times per week. That is, a drop is put into a Dixie of water and a cup full served out per man. And rum is served out twice a week, sometimes about four tablespoonfuls each. I'm currently awaiting my time of duty on the front line trench. It is the most difficult. At night, we tread dangerously into no man's land to repair any broken barbed wire and do general checks. It is truly terrifying, Podrick. Often the Germans are only a hundred yards away. The cover of darkness is our only security and it is of little comfort. We've had a dry spell for some weeks now, thankfully. It makes our time here much easier. The rainwater, when it comes, creates mud throughout the trench, leaving you standing in it all day. I've heard tell of some trenches becoming so deep in mud that men have drowned. That hasn't happened here yet, so we pray for the good weather to stay. Another scourge of trench life is the lice. They are everywhere and impossible to get rid of. At times we sit in groups and pick lice from our clothing. The lice picking can surprisingly be a great time for camaraderie. There are men here from all sorts of places, Australia, England, Scotland. Often they have difficulty understanding my accent, and I theirs. We wear our respirators because of the awful smell of the dead. I'll never get the sight out of my eyes. And it will be an everlasting nightmare. If I am spared to come home, I'll be able to tell you all about it. Fire your gun! Shoot him! Keep firing! Come on! Another one! Fire! Another one! Come on! Come on! Fire! Again! But I could not possibly write in details as words fail me. Can describe things. How was life at home? I long to sit at the table with you all again. Please, write of a normal life there. For it is that which I miss so much. Please look after ma'am and do not tell her of the reality of my time here. I fear it would only break her heart. Your loving brother, Sean.